Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, good evening, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you guys. I truly, truly appreciate you. Um, from now until the end of May, I'm going to be doing uh, readings for... 25 and one question ten dollars just for my subscribers just to show my appreciation so we're here doing a general reading for scorpio this is for sun moon rising and venus scorpio i've already shuffled sage and prayed over your cards Oh, what's going on for Scorpio for the last two weeks of May 2023? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, you have vision. Can you see? Vision. Give me one more for Scorpio. One more for Scorpio for the overall energies, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing you're getting a lot of downloads, Scorpio. Oh. Like I said, I see you getting a lot of downloads. Listen to your dreams. Pay attention to your vision. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, Scorpio, it is time to do it. And it's time to have some fun. You got playful. It's time to have some fun. And you got beauty at the bottom of the deck. So let's see, what does this mean? So pretty much the vision card means no matter what you lose in life, Scorpio, something better will replace it. Okay? Something better will replace it. Let's see what playful, what is they talking about on playful? Yeah, what I just said. It's time to lighten up and have some fun, Scorpio. <laughs> time to lighten up and have some fun. So let's get a spell casting. Let's get a spell casting card for you, Scorpio. What do you have for Scorpio? I'm hearing, stop being so serious. It's time to have some fun, Scorpio. I'm also hearing that, like I, like I said with this vision card, no matter what you lose, there's always something better. Give me a card for Scorpio, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is that? Mean? It's beauty, success. Yep. Give me a spell casters for Scorpio, just one. I'm not sure why all of your cards are going to fly all over the place, Scorpio. Not sure, but this is what's going down. But guess what? You got prosperity at the bottom of the deck. And mm, manifestation. Let's read manifestation for you, Scorpio. Manifestation. And then you have prosperity at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Be careful of what you, what you wish for. Focus only on, posit on a positive outcome. Your goals are, are, re are coming into being. A wonderful surprise awaits. Have patience. You need, you, you, your needs are always met. So it's like whatever it is you're manifesting, Scorpio, 
it's coming to pass for you. Looks like you got a vision here. What is prosperity? I mean, you got manifestation and prosperity? What is going on with Scorpio? Stop focusing on money. You'll be supplied what you need. Be careful what you wish for. Again, that's the same thing with the manifestation card. Be careful of what you wish for because you just might get it. So, y'all need to take a step back from something. Pray, meditate. Me um, I'm hearing yoga. Some of y'all really need to loosen up. Be careful what you wish for. A lucrative deal is on offer. Understand the law of attraction. Scorpio, you already know that you are a good manifester. So you just got to be careful of what you're manifesting here. Because something, you're about to get something here, Scorpio. You about to get something. Let's see what the tarot Let's see what Terrell says here. Ooh. Scorpio. Is things all over the place for you? Because this fell to the floor of the Two of Cups. Okay, look. These cards flipped over, so I'm going to take them. And you got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Got a player player in your energy. Somebody that's in and out. Somebody that's possibly just wanting to have a good time. You do have playful here. Maybe it's time for you to have a good time. I don't know. But you got the two of cups here. This is somebody seeing eye to eye with you. This could be a new relationship. I don't know, an old relationship. And then you have the three of coins. So somebody's wanting to collaborate with you. Someone likes what you do. And then you have the three of swords. Wow. Uh, I'm seeing a third party situation here, Scorpio. And then you got the page of wands. This is good news coming in. This is good news about stability here. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. But what's up with this Three of Swords? You got three, three. And then you got the Knight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. And then behind the Knight of Wands, you got the Seven of Wands. So you're protecting yourself. Ooh, and the Nine of Swords. Maybe you're suspecting something of someone that you're dealing with. Maybe you're suspecting someone is dealing with someone else. Well, here's the Three of Swords is here. So let me put this down so you can see the cards. The Three of Swords is here. So somebody here is stressing. Looks like you got your boundaries up. You're protecting yourself. You could have you could have blocked somebody off. But somebody wants to come in and apologize. I see good news coming in for you. Yeah, you got a shady person in your energy, but I see you walking away from this individual and starting something new, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius. All, all of the signs are here, okay? What is this Two of Cups about, God, Angels, and Such as Holy Spirit? Let's clarify for Scorpio. Yeah, there's some clarification coming in very quickly with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Something is coming in very quickly. Some clarification. Either universe is sending this to you or you you go, you know because you're you, you very intuitive. You, you're very intuitive. There's going to be some clarification coming in real quick, Scorpio. So, Or you already know this is going on. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio, God Angels? And it's just the Holy Spirit. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Clarify the Two of Cups for Scorpio. 
Okay, I found a two of cups. <sighs> Scorpio. <sighs> the two of cups is being clarified by the three of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles. Somebody wants to celebrate with you. Somebody wants to come back together with you and offer you something. Somebody wants to work on something now with you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But somebody is wanting uh, a new... <clears throat> somebody is wanting to give give you something now. Something, that per something that's long-term. This person put you in a third-party situation, Scorpio. But now this person wanting to come in and apologize to you. You definitely gonna be getting some some clear communication coming in real quickly. You could have been getting, you could have been, you, you, you probably knew about this in your dream. Universe probably gave you something in your dreams is what I'm, I'm hearing. You're very guarded though right now. Yeah, somebody wants to invest with you, look. Somebody that you you left out. Two of Cups again, Five of Cups. This person is regretting the way they treated you, Scorpio. But somebody is definitely wanting to come back in. Remember, this person put you in a third-party situation, Scorpio. And I did see the Seven of Swords also. So I don't know about this, Scorpio. Why is the Three of Coins here? Yeah, this person was slow motion. Dealing, um collaborating with other people. Definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn y'all dealing with. Don't have to be. Maybe you have Earth in your chart. And then we have Temperance. This person is, is being patient, trying to get themselves balanced, wanting to come back together with you, wanting to collaborate with you. But this person was slow motion. They took their time because they was, they was dealing with other people. But I see you healing also. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, you dropped that burden. Nine, nine, um, ten of wands. Ten of wands in the reverse. You dropped that burden. You're healing, Scorpio, from a third-party situation. Yeah, things are, are definitely going to be changing big time in your favor. Something here is going in your favor. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, the Sun card. Oh, my God, yes. Happiness, prosperity, things coming to the light for you. And you're doing a lot of healing here, Scorpio. Why is the page of wands here for Scorpio? The page of wands is being clarified by the nine of swords. This person wants to call in, but um, they stress them. Why is the nine of swords here? Mm. The high priestess. Use your intuition. Do you even want to take this call? Is what I'm hearing. Maybe that's maybe you're gonna get some information that's gonna possibly stress you out, keep you up. But use your intuition. You already know the answers that you seek, Scorpio. Why is the nine of swords here with the high priestess? Yeah. The chariot. And the emperor. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Could be dealing with an Aries, but somebody here wants to move forward with you with, with um, something long-term here, a commitment. This could have been somebody that was definitely holding back from you and somebody that put you in a third party. I don't know. You're going to be stressing about it, though. Or you just might just move on and leave it alone. But here, this Ten of Pentacles is here. This is stability. This is financial stability. This is long-term financial stability. This could have been somebody that you had a family with because they're regretting. Somebody's regretting the way they treated you. I see new love here. I see somebody wanting a second chance with the Ace of Cups. But look, y'all. You got the Nine of Wands that fell to the floor. And look, you had the Knight of Wands at the bottom of this deck, too. 
you you protecting yourself from this person. You guarding yourself from this person. You already know. You know what it is with this person. You're not you're not dealing with that. Mm -mm. You prefer to be single with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the of the deck. I told you you're protecting yourself. <laughs> And you are protected, Scorpio. This person watches you. Yeah. Somebody here definitely watches you, Scorpio. Wow. What's going to be the outcome here for Scorpio? What's the outcome here for Scorpio? What is the outcome for Scorpio? Look at this, Seven of Swords. This is sneaky behavior, shady, liar, cheater. I see you sneaking away from somebody, holding back from somebody. Oh, this is somebody in your energy, Scorpio, that's holding back because this person is very sneaky and shady. What is the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, guys, as an outcome? Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles again. Hmm. Somebody could be moving away from a family situation too, Scorpio, coming towards you. But this person is in the Seven of Swords energy and the Knight of Wands. This person is in love with you, though. They are. Somebody here is very confused. You're going to have options, Scorpio. I see you making a judgment, leaving somebody here, too. Because somebody here is, 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 is doing too much. Somebody here is just doing too much. Bottom freaking line. Somebody doing too much. Give me some advice for Scorpio. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Give me some advice. What is advice for Scorpio? You know what I'm hearing, Scorpio? I'm hearing, pay attention to your goals, okay? Your visions. Manifest what you want. You can manifest a good person here. You gonna have options. I'm feeling. I'm feeling somebody in your energy is not right. Okay, this is what um I'm getting. And you true, and you are gonna find out about it real soon, real quickly. You about to find out about it. Okay, so focus on you and and and, and your goals. You know, start man. Start really. Meditating and praying. What's the advice for Scorpio? Just one card, guys. We got the six coins at the bottom of the deck. The chariot. Yeah. Time to move on. Time to move on. You're determined to move forward, too. You definitely got good things coming in here for you. You got big, happy changes coming in, Scorpio. You got the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. Come on. Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. You're moving towards your prosperity. You're doing all this healing and moving away from these toxic people. Yeah, somebody in your past is definitely coming towards you, wanting to invest in you now. Or you about to leave somebody and they're going to figure. They're going to be like, well, I don't want to leave Scorpio. Yeah, somebody that's been holding back. But when you do, when you when you make a move, then things gonna be different. Things gonna be different then. Why is, give me one more in this chariot. Six of coins again. Seeing somebody wanting to offer you something. Somebody wants an equal give and take here with you. And somebody here is determined gonna be determined to move forward. With you, Scorpio. Uh, looks possibly somebody in your past, Scorpio. 
I tell you, these fast people. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. So, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, I have, I'm doing um, readings today. I'm available today, y'all. For $25, one question, $10, okay? So, you can either call me or you can email me or text me. Okay, thank you, Scorpio. Bye.